it is gorgeous and it sold right away so this is the Juliana necklace that I showed you in um, the jewelry haul video of the antique store haul I was literally marching down as fast as I could through the hallway ready to get some jewelry and then not planning on stopping at very many cases and then obviously this was like yes hello I'm here uh, this one you guys don't tell anybody but this is a secret this you can buy for like three dollars on wish <laughs> brand new um, and then lastly <laughs> this tote bag I think it's like a men's could be unisex sold for $70 and I got this one at the Goodwill bins out for with high quality shoes is the Vibram sole these just took a while so all right, hey you guys, my name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and today we have a what sold over the weekend video for you guys. This weekend has been eh, kind of slow for the summer, of course. Um, but guess what? I sold actually quite a bit of shoes, which is very surprising. I haven't listed any of the new shoes I got in the haul, my recent haul. So I don't know, people are buying shoes. And yeah, some jewelry pieces are going out and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here are here's the jewelry going out. This in particular is like my favorite sale. <laughs> it is gorgeous and it sold right away. So this is the Juliana necklace that I showed you in um, the jewelry haul video of the antique store haul. I was literally marching down as fast as I could through the hallway ready to get some jewelry and then not planning on stopping at very many cases and then obviously this was like yes hello I'm here. Um, this is my first Juliana bracelet. You can tell by the five links on the back that it is a Juliana and I paid 24 for this piece and that's what it said on the receipt and then it sold for $80. So after fees and everything, it came to about $40 of profit, but you know, literally sold within 24 hours. So making 40 bucks um, within 24 hours is really awesome. Okay, so this one also, this one sold for $40, and you guys might recognize this. This one came in a, that vintage shop Goodwill lot that was like $1.50 a piece. It has the brand, what is it, Nantucket uh, something collectible something. Anyways, you'll see it up <laughs> on the screen. But these little baskets are very collectible. Sometimes they have like a faux scrimshaw, like ship or something like that on the top. And there's a little um, mini penny in here. But I have this maker's mark in the Canva files if you guys are wondering what this is. Um, it's in our Facebook group page. Canva file sold for $40 right away on Mercari. Paid about $1.50. This, I should probably say that I paid nothing <laughs> because, well, I guess I paid something, but um, this is a keychain. So this is a keychain and I pulled it out of my um, craft lot. Like I wasn't going to list it and then just randomly I'm like, you know what? I should probably Google lens this, see if it sells for anything. And yeah, this sold for $10 on Mercari. And usually when I'm averaging my cost of goods, I average what I'm going to be selling from my yes pile. So I don't know, probably paid less than a dollar in a shop good a lot, I'm thinking. So it's like a fake Crown Royal um, little jug thing. <laughs> Okay, these are fabulous. I've had these for a while. I probably should have had a picture of these in my hand as like the first picture just to show the scale, but these did sell on Mercari for a good price. So after shipping, my um, my profit was $26.19, and look at these. They're not branded, but they're absolutely fabulous. Dangle, cha-cha, faux pearl, tassel, earrings big statement earrings and I paid about a dollar for these in a sh um, shop goodwill lot okay next is a bundle 
This one, if you're a viewer, thank you so much. Um, this was a bundle on Poshmark. It is a um, Park Lane multi-chain vintage necklace. There's a few like statement donut discs through there. Park Lane is a good vintage brand. And then this, this is actually the second time this has sold. The first time the buyer didn't pay. But it's like this, um, it's showing more blue on the camera, but it's actually more green. It's like a swirled lucite. Um, just plastic beads, and yeah, I think I had it listed for like $7.99 on eBay. But anyways, both of these together sold for $20, and I paid about 2 I still have two more of these Whiting and Davis um, keychains left. Uh, this is my second keychain that I have sold. And yeah, so like if this didn't have the hang tag, just look, this like chain meal type shape there are Whiting and Davis um, really, really beautiful um, keychains out there like this. And this one is new old stock. Sold for $23. I think I have them listed for like $29.99. But yeah, I picked them up for $7 at the antique store. This is the Justin Timberlakes and Britney Spears style Y2K denim. That's basically what I put in the title. You guys will see it up on the screen. It's like a swag... Um, chain style necklace, not marked. Sold for $19.99, you guys. Yay! I'm sure the keywords help me a lot in this one. And then there's a lot of people that just still really like that all denim look, and I can totally see them like rocking this style. So I bought, I got that in the high bid auction for about a dollar fifty. This one also came in the high bid. Um, it's a little tiny, cutie little pineapple head bird, <laughs> faux pearl, seed pearl bird, and this is, uh, this sold for $17.99, um, and also not marked. This is, uh, I listed as a men's, like, Cuban curb link chain necklace. Again, I've been doing really well listing, like, gold, vintage gold neck, gold tone necklaces without a maker, listing them as men or unisex. This one sold for $19.99 and I got that in a shop good a lot for a dollar. This one I've had for a bit. It's like an iridescent, almost dichroic butterfly. It is Avon, marked Avon. Little dainty necklaces um, are a little bit harder for me to sell. Now I've been like taking my main picture as like a super close up of the necklace instead of one of those like far away on the bust type of pictures. Anyways, this one sold for 10 and I paid about a dollar in Shop Goodwill lot. This one is super fun. It's just plastic, but I, I really like the colors, the black and the hot pink, and very geometric and mod. Um, and this one sold for $14.99, and I got this one in a shop good a lot for about a dollar. This one, you guys, don't tell anybody, but this is a secret. This you can buy for like $3 on Wish. <laughs> brand new. Um, but I don't look at that. I don't even care. So it's a faux pearl with um, a, like a rhinestone smiley face in the front. I listed mine for $7.99 because I don't I don't really have things listed for less than that on eBay. Um, and then also like it's really weird. Like I am just not there at all in my mind. But men like to do I, I, I guess boys high school and college age boys like to wear like the faux pearl and mixed with like chains and earrings and all that stuff like they're doing this thing now so this is pretty hot like this look in both men and women's which is really surprising I know you guys would are probably shocked by this but um I am too <laughs> honestly like I really love the feminine and it's like really kind of like bizarre <laughs> to see men like totally going gaga over faux, faux pearls and pearls and stuff. So um, anyways, this is a Monet bundle. And what did I say? Like, honestly, I feel like I say this all the time that whenever I'm selling like Monet earrings, I feel like they sell in a lot together. Like Monet, 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 Monet. And, uh, and all three of these are Monet. These all sold on Etsy. 
we have these are some white metal blue metal and they're all clip-ons and then this one's like an optic matte gold um button gold tone stud so all three of these sold for 52.22 after combined shipping my profit was 48 41 and my cost of goods was four that's because both of these came out of like the hybrid lot and the neighbor lot so yay um that is my jewelry and we can go grab shoes and i got a lot of shoes this weekend actually so let's go grab them okay so here are the shoes going out um and again, I still haven't listed shoes. I got shoes in a haul, so I will be listing shoes shortly. But let's just get right into these. These are some Clark's Artisan. You can tell they were probably sold at TJ Maxx or something. I love the Clark's Artisan line. Um, these were brand new. And so I did list them, I think, at $29.99. And they sold for $26. I got them at Goodwill for $6.99. Usually... With Clark's, I don't pick them up for this price unless they are new or like new or something a little bit nicer like um, ankle booties or boots or something. Okay, Echo is a great brand to look out for. Echo is sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. Um, this, These shoes are like a blush color. I picked them up at the Goodwill Bins. Oh, it has like a really cute little blush um sole as well. The thing I don't like about Echo is that like this kind of um, rubber sole discolors and it stays discolored. That's the thing with Echo brand shoes. But anyways, the, these sold on Poshmark for $31 and I got these for around $2 at the bins. Again, more Echo shoes. These are in excellent condition. These are light blue. These are cute little walking shoes with mesh design. Again, high quality. Um, yeah, we have some high quality sh shoe sales going out this weekend. Um, the, the, sorry, this pair of shoes sold for $30 on Mercari and I got them at the Goodwill bins for around two. Here are some Indigo Clark's wedges and I've sold this style several times. It has like that laser cut open work detail. They are some like espadrille wedges and they're a bronze color. These sold for $21.99, which is what I had them listed for on eBay. And I got them at in the Goodwill bins for around two. Here are some, this is a brand I do like. It's A-H-N-U Anu, which I believe is made by Teva, T-E-V-A. Um, these shoes took a lot longer to sell. They are a bigger size, but they're in excellent condition. Ooh, Vibram Soul. That is also a thing to look out for with high quality shoes is the Vibram sole. These just took a while. So let me tell you what happened. <laughs> this person wanted to buy these, but for some reason their shipping was like $19 or something like that. So they said if you accept this, um, this offer right here, 16, then I can keep the difference and ship them cheaper. And so I was like, okay, so I am shipping them UPS, which is actually a $9 difference. So that adds to my total, making my total, I guess, earned <laughs> um, $25. So normally all my shoes go USPS because I have the boxes for it and, you know, my, my mailman picks it up. But in this case, I'm going to be dropping this off at the UPS station because these are three pounds for the shoes. All right, this was a mistake, but it is a brand I still like to pick up. Okay, so I got these at Goodwill for $6.99. These are by the brand Riker, and Riker actually has some really cute styles sometimes. They are a more mature comfort type brand, um, and these have some orange um, jewel details. So here's the deal. When I was listing... Right at the bottom here, there's a little bit of crumbling. Now, does that affect the look of the shoe? No, but does that like, is that something worth noting? Yes, and it will, and it will affect, you know, the price and everything. So yeah, these only sold for $14.99 and I paid $6.99 hoping to get closer to like $30 for Riker.
Okay, and then lastly, we have these Tony Llama boots. When I found cowboy boots at the bins, I usually pick them up because like I pay three or four bucks for these based off of the weight and people don't usually pick up boots because of the weight. I do because boots still sell for me. Pick, and they sold on Poshmark for 32, paid around three at the bins. Okay, and now lastly, lastly is the belts and scarves and accessories. Okay, literally my favorite scarf and this bag sold for an outrageous amount of money for, I just, I can't. Um, okay, so this I probably would not pick up again. <laughs> it's just a Dockers belt. You see Dockers at like Kohl's or things like that. This I picked up at the bins because... It was like a silver buckle with the brown, classic, and leather, and it was 50 cents. I mean, it did sell, I would say, within a week. I listed this maybe a week ago. Sold on Mercari for eight, and I paid around 50 cents. So there's that. This is absolutely gorgeous. I paid $2.99 for this at Goodwill, and it's probably one of my favorite scarves. Just the coloring is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like a batik style, hand dyed. It's by a brand called Sharon Taser, T-A-S-S-E-R. She does some beautiful work. I did take a best offer of $20 for this scarf on eBay, and I hope the buyer is gonna be really happy with that. And then lastly, <laughs> this tote bag, I think it's like a men's, could be unisex, sold for $70, and I got this one at the Goodwill Bins. I might have picked it up when I did the Bins Bingo with, um, uh, what, what's her name? Courtney at Bolo Buddies. She, I have an episode where I actually played the Bins Bingo with my card and picked up some things. I might have picked this one up during that video or, or somewhere around that video. Um, and I looked at it and sometimes when it's like really nice leather, like this feels like very nice leather, leather. I'll like try to look up a brand. That's what I did. This is called Triple Five Soul, which is a Montreal brand, kind of like, I don't know, kind of like more trendy. And it actually got a lot of likes. So there we go, $70 for this bag. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something <laughs> new. Um, yeah, yeah. if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. It really helps my channel. Yay, I'm over 2,000 subscribers. I will be announcing the winner from that video. You haven't entered you still have time um in probably like a week so yeah go ahead and enter if you haven't already entered it's last week's what sold over the weekend video also if you're not a part of the um the facebook group because okay i'm gonna keep re recommending it because i keep getting messages like hey what's this maker's mark hey rachel can you identify this for me and it is i'm created a specific file to help you guys. It's it's um it's right at the top of the Facebook group page and it's called like a Canva file. And you just click on it and it'll take you to a link, a web page and you can just scroll through a ton of makers marks that are pretty common and a little some of them are less common and newer. So that hopefully has been very helpful to a lot of people and there's just really great discussion. We do um like, what are you wearing? Snap a picture of your jewelry. Like, I might take a picture of some of my <laughs> jewelry for the day. And um, and some other members really love doing that. Or we do, like, what was your favorite piece that sold? And just help each other out in that community. Anyways, I'm blabbering. You guys have a really great rest of your week. And make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.